we now come to stitching our book block. We have our 10 signatures with holes punched in them. So I take my 10 signatures. I need a thread that is about 10 times longer than each um, signature, or at least one length per signature, um, and my needle. And we're going to be stitching them onto this paper band, as I said before. So to start off, I find it quite helpful to stitch on a slightly raised surface. So I'm going to use this tin. And what I'm basically going to do is go in at the top, into the top hole. There's the inside, bring it through and then go out the next hole and then into the following hole and out the bottom hole. That's the inside there, you can see. I'll then pull it along and leave a little tail here that we'll tie in a minute. So that's the first signature. Then with the second signature, which goes directly on top of it, we basically do the same thing backwards. So we go into the bottom hole, then out again, and into the next hole. and out of the top hole. When, when you pull the thread through, be careful that you pull it this way in the direction that the thread is moving in and don't try and pull it back like this or you may damage the paper. Once you have these two almost together, we're going to insert our little paper band. If we were stitching on a frame, this would all be set up and we would already have gone around the band, but we, we're not doing that. So put that in and then pull it tight. The band should hold easily in place. Pull it fairly tight, but remember pull it this way, not that way. And then we basically are going to make a knot at the top here that will tie it firm. I was always taught to make three knots here. These to go over three times. So that's what I usually do. Okay, so you now have your first two signatures that are on your band. And now we are simply going to repeat the process, but stitch the following signatures onto this. So that's my signature. I open it up. I'm going to put my needle in. But now when I do it, I'm going to try and keep it on top of the other two. So I go in and out. And when I come out, I go around the band and into the hole next to it and then out of the bottom hole and I pull this along and pull it fairly tight but again don't pull like that pull like this now when we're at the end here, we need to attach it to the signature below. And to do this, we use what is called a kettle stitch. It actually comes from the German or Dutch word ketting, which means chain, which makes a lot more sense than kettle, because what it essentially does is form a chain um, between these holes. So we put the needle through the, between the first and the second signatures. 
so that it's held by, by the stitch there. And we pull it through and pull it up, making a stitch that holds um, that holds the signatures together. And from here on, it's basically a case of repeating this backwards and forwards. We go into the next one and out again, going around the band to go back in. and then out at the top. And when we get to the top, we repeat the kettle stitch by going under the, between the second and the third signatures um, and bringing the needle back through here to form a stitch. And then we repeat the process again. Going in. And coming out again. And going back in. And coming out again. Sometimes this little thread gets caught up there, which doesn't really matter. Okay. You'll get a sense for how tight it should be. It, it should be fairly firm, um, but it is also possible to do it too tight. But you get a sense for that eventually. And different books sometimes need to be either tighter or looser, depending on what you're doing. When we get to the last signature, we basically Keep going until the end. Go in and out. And in. And out. And then make sure that it's lined up. And we make our kettle stitch here going uh, between the 8th and the ninth signatures and pulling it into a knot. And then we're basically just going to repeat that kettle stitch, go through again. And again, I was taught to do this three times, so that's what I'm doing. And there we have it. Our text block is stitched. I normally trim off the thread, leaving perhaps one or two centimeters, which will be glued down when we glue it. Um, and in the next video, we will uh, put on the end pages and glue the text block.